Hello, it's Jason Payne for Coal Banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful master plan community of Esperanza, just outside of one of my favorite Texas Hill Country towns, Bernie, Texas. Now, I've done several videos of this community, but you know what? I haven't done a motorcycle tour of this community, so uh, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. Alrighty, I'm going to start this video. This is downtown Bernie. It goes back there quite a ways. Beautiful, but that's going to be a different video. This video is to show you the easy proximity. Oh man, I missed the light. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Well, maybe I won't. But I want to do this video just to show the proximity to downtown Bernie and Esperanza master plan community. It is so stinking close. It's great. Um, going up this road here and it kind of veers around that hits I-10 and you do have all your traditional box stores your best buy and all that good stuff just down that road um, in kind of the newer section but this area here is the old town portion of Bernie and that's like I said can be a different video but look at the uh, nice little creek they have here a lot of people hanging out playing with the ducks this is such a great area um, perfect if you're working around uh, UTSA area oh there's the dodging duck I've done a video tour of that great place to eat highly recommend their fish and chips and uh, there's some other cool places but this area Bernie is just probably about 15 to 20 minutes up the up I-10 from the 1604 area all right, making sure I'm still recording. Peel back the curtain. This is the second time I've done this video because I got almost to the end of it and realized my GoPro wasn't recording. I think my, I'm not gonna say the G word because I think that's what caused it to stop just now. All right, well, we're back. Still rolling here, but um, the community of Esperanza is just down the street here. It's not very far. And uh, let's hope the start keeps recording. There's the creek still there. Got an anytime fitness. So Bernie is definitely a hot spot. I love this town, love this area. I do not live here. I live about a 45 minute drive here. So I still love coming out here and one of my favorite things to come out here for during Christmas time is they have Dickens on Main. Make sure you look that up on YouTube. There are several videos uh, showing how much good times people are having in Dickens on Main. It's really great. Some also nice parks back here. Uh, there's such a so many small Texas Hill Country towns to explore and Bernie's definitely one of my favorites. And of course, I love New Braunfels too. Not far from here, you do have the beautiful town of Fredericksburg. Great place to visit. Not a lot of housing communities and stuff around there, but uh, going up to Fredericksburg is definitely a must do every once in a while. But we have so many hill country events going on, so all I can do is look at their websites get for like Texas Hill Country events just to kind of let you know what's going on. I think we have the Lavender Festival coming up here pretty soon. So lots of stuff happening in the area. Oh, uh, while I'm thinking about it, quick shout out to David who, while I was doing my setup for Esperanza, this video here, um, just drove by and is like, are you Jason? I'm like, yes, yes I am. So I guess he's been watching my videos and uh, come and check out this area based on what he's been seeing. And I really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, don't don't hesitate to reach out to me. But if, if you wanted to just use my videos and not me personally, and you're going in there, uh, well, I'm not gonna be upset if you put my name down as your realtor as the procuring cause if i'm the reason you're there it's okay and realize that builders do not give you a discount if you don't use a real estate agent some people don't realize that it's like nope the company will either spread that wealth out through the over the year or 
keep it themselves or sometimes give it to bonuses but we're here to look at Esperanza and we are already there now wasn't that quick just uh, another five miles down the road maybe six is the Guadalupe River State Park down there too just kind of give you an idea of where we're at because I know I did a video tour of that but this is Esperanza it is a beautiful master plan community with some beautiful oak trees and uh, some really great amenities school district uh, a lot of people are worried about the school districts Bernie ISD is one of the best in the states it is really great there is an elementary school here in the community we will go check that out but the high school is literally just two miles we drove if I had taken a left uh, in between the downtown area and where we're at right now you'd have gotten to Bernie high school middle school I don't know where it's at <laughs> sorry I don't live here I know a lot of things but I don't know everything but the great fitness center kind of look at the little signs here kid friendly splash pads those road those houses right there are the model homes you've got Monticello Coventry and Scott Felder that are still building in here they are the Monticello model homes are getting ready to be on the market because this whole community is going to be doubling in size starting in this fall everything you see to my right that big ranch Esperanza is a long skinny community right now but it's gonna kind of double over and start coming back down and I was super excited to see chess bar one of my favorite builders gonna be building in here this is a small acre section I think they have like two spots left but if you buy one of those acre lots you have to use the one particular builder that owns all those lots kind of takes some of the fun out of the uh, builder shopping but I've heard he's a good builder so if you're interested in that I can do it I see uh, school is letting out and everybody's getting going all right Esperanza is broken up into little small subdivisions then they are gonna be gated but this is one of the more higher end one price ranges right now as of late October late September good gosh been talking a lot late April 2021 um, you'll see anywhere from high fours up to seven eight hundred thousand dollar homes this is gonna be one of the higher end communities as you can tell these are some pretty big homes with some great views that's kind of cool out there so uh, yeah there, there's some beautiful homes out here and kind of reasonably priced houses you're not gonna see the three hundred thousand dollar homes out here anymore the Texas market has definitely changed in the last couple of years and especially since uh, about Thanksgiving this year things have gone nuts I swear the world is moving to Texas and finding a lot is getting more and more difficult so there are some new communities coming up uh, that just opened up, especially here on the I-10 corridor from Bernie to 1604. There are homes available. Finding those acre lots, oh my gosh, I get phone calls all the time. I'm looking for a beautiful acre lot in the Texas Hill Country and I want it for 550 and to build my dream home. I'm like, man, that's you're looking closer to 700 total package because the custom home builders are going to be separate and uh, you have to buy the land first that community looks a lot like the first one so for the sake of time I'm not going to hit every little pocket um, but when you're doing the custom home things you can buy a lot and then build on it when you want to those communities are getting harder and harder to find because everybody's wanting that right now I love the water tower here see they do are working on a new section uh, let's go to the next one where it shows stuff available but one of Esperanza's big things their selling points is they have a really advanced water retention system here 
not like we're in massive water shortages but it does go a long way for keeping your prices down so the water retention system all kind of goes back into the irrigation system for helping keeping your water cost down for watering your lawns this is you know, the first community that can be a little, the high, little higher end this is more of the uh, budget friendly homes I guess best way to say that so they're gonna be a little bit closer together but not dramatically we do have quite a few homes with some green space properties in there but we do like our rock faces realize I have had my blinker on a little bit all right love that water tower all right let me try to remember where they have the new lots that are being built Well, it's just such a beautiful place out here. I mean, these live oak trees are just really nice. And that the new area that's gonna be opening up this fall is gonna be super nice too. You'll see lots of kids out riding their bikes and stuff. Yes, this is a uh, very kid-friendly area. I mentioned already great schools. All right, I think this is the one that's got some lots that uh, just opened up. Uh, well, opened up uh, earlier this month and they've been selling like hotcakes. I was just talking to the Monticello sales rep and I think they've got four lots left that they can sell. And Scott Felder and Coventry probably has a few lots themselves. All right, yeah, here's the new section that just opened up. Road closed. You can't tell me what to do. I'm going. <laughs> All right, this is the sections that are just opened up, and it's really nice. You can see some of these are available. Scott Felder is like available, closed. But you do have that green space back there. And this area here, you're going to have kind of your houses still backing up to each other. But if you're on this row, you're going to have that green space. And talking to the Monticello rep, I think one of these couple of lots right here are available. Let's see, that says sold. I think these here are still available but they're gonna have really flat lots and you can see back there you got a little pond they're gonna start making this a really nice park with some cute rock structures and it's gonna be really neat and nobody behind you so if you do have an opportunity to get some lots available oh I do know that this lot right here in front of me is available now if you're my client who I'm gonna do some lot tours I need to this one, I think they said, uh, I forget what number, I think it was 69 or something you were asking about. But this lot is currently available as of today and it's got a little water drainage here, but they're gonna be a nice bridge kind of back behind it, giving access to this little pond and they're gonna have that stocked with fish. So this lot is available by Monticello. What is this, lot 33? Lot 33 is available as of today, as I'm filming it. Tomorrow might be a different story. Well, that's a great lot. These lots here are also nice because you're gonna have the woods behind you and nobody building back there. That backs up to another big ranch that's not selling to Esperanza. But lots of interior lots are gonna be available. As you can see, we don't see a lot of sold signs there. Uh, 
Downside to these lots, which I always tell everybody, pay attention to what direction the backyard faces. Uh, you don't want your backyard facing west because that's where the sun's setting and the weather's beautiful right now, but come August, I mean July, August, September time span, it's going to be hot and you do not want to be getting off work and trying to have an adult beverage on the back of your deck and having the sun just melting you. So having your house, the back of your house facing east is really nice because then the house gives its own natural shade. Turn your fan on and now you can still enjoy being outside, even in the hottest days of summer. Hope I didn't just by saying, hey, this lot 33 is available, didn't just screw my client because he's gonna be seeing this video and along with everybody else. Maybe I'll just share it to him with a private link and then put it to public for everybody else. Just to be fair, because yeah, he's I've already been trying to help him find some uh, communities like this. And, well, he's the reason I'm doing this video because he asked me to do a real to rides tour of this area. So of course, I wasn't working directly with a client today, so I'm out shooting videos. When I do have my out-of-state clients coming in, I do try to give them preference. All right, so this is the Soledad community that they have the lots available. Oh, wait, not the Soledad. I just almost died. It's the El Dorado community. All right, so some of the rock structures there. I'm gonna try to remember to keep my head slowed down so I don't make you guys dizzy. All right, still recording, good. I mentioned the school. This is the elementary school. I know, you're like, good God, that's an elementary school? Yes, yes it is. Our property tax is a little higher, and that's why, because we have big, beautiful schools. if I'm in the right gear but um, I mentioned the amenities this I'm going to show you the amenity center here it is impressive yes they have a lazy river here just like Esperanza not Esper, just like vintage oaks does I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and show you this this here is a neat little park area. They'll have uh, community events here. There is a community event planner that schedules stuff. So like little concerts and uh, a bunch of different fun events to do here. Integrated some of the limestone rocks they pulled up out of the ground and made them into artwork. So that's really neat. Now I've already done an amenities tour of this community, so I'm not gonna go walk around and show you all that because you can look that up. Just look up uh, Jason Payne Realtor Esperanza amenities tour. That should pull up the video I've done of this community here. But yeah, that's a really nice amenity center. Their event planners, she is chomping at the bits to get the green light to really start going hog wild on the events right now because we're at the end of COVID, but they're still not wanting to do all the concerts and stuff like that just yet. But we're getting there. All right, up this road here is where they're starting to cut roads and do all that good stuff for the expansion section. And then it's gonna curve around. I guess you can see a tractor back there. Working on it, but come on this August, September, that's when they're gonna be opening up. But man, look at the views out here, guys. This is such a great place to be. And this neat little park area here to go walk around. 
but also the people out here people are friendly people like to talk to you lord knows i like to talk too much and i apologize if i'm getting on anybody's nerves but uh i i, I do these videos because i love living out here this is a great place to be and i love the texas hill country and everybody that has been moving out here they've been loving it too all right, that's going to wrap up this uh, Realtor Rides tour of the Master Plan Community of Esperanza in Bernie, Texas. If you find this video useful, uh, please like and subscribe and share them with your friends because I love this area and I hope that come across in my video. And I think if you are looking for a new home for the next chapter in your life, I think you'd like this area too. Anyways, like, subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching my videos. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now.